Hello and welcome to Nature Immersion. Today we have the red buckeye, the Hippocastanaceae family, and it's Acillus pavia. It's native to the southern U.S. Um, up to some stands in Ohio, hence the Ohio buckeye. It's a deciduous shrub up to 30 feet tall at max. Has beautiful tube-shaped flowers and the seeds that resemble the eye of a deer. Well, this shrub has interesting foliage habits. So starting in July, the tree will lose its leaves and by August, it'll be bare. And I base this off of being in Southern Louisiana. It loses its leaves very early in the summer and they will start to leaf out in January or February kind of depending on the hardness and the length of winter. The flowers can start in early March as well. So the wildlife, this is a, an important shrub for hummingbirds. Because it flowers so early, it matches the arrival time of the ruby-throated hummingbird. The ruby, the ruby throat will migrate across the Gulf of Mexico in the spring and make the whole flight. It could be a 10 hour flight. And so when they get to Louisiana, this is one of the first flowers that greets them upon their arrival. Now, I think I have also seen some bees visiting the Buckeye. Um, I, I have seen small honey bees, definitely, but there might also be some other smaller bees that frequent it. And I wouldn't be surprised to see certain butterflies as well, but I have not seen any butterflies personally. So let's zoom in a little bit, see if we can get a close-up of these flowers. Yeah, you can actually see a bee flying around the flower itself. 